right, love and light, Gemini. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Oh, this is about to be one of those readings. All right. There is somebody in your person's life or someone in your energy or someone in your person's energy. There's a third party here. All right. The bottom of the day, the overall energy is the past is causing an issue between the two of you. All right. So maybe the block, there's a blockage between the two of you all. Um, it, as far as the two of you communicating right now because of a third party, the past is causing blocks in the present. Then we have gold digging here, interested in financial gains. So here somebody could be dealing with a gold digger or somebody who obviously cares about image, money, you know, and not loyalty, I feel like. But it, it's almost like somebody's heart lies with you, but they're, they may be relying on somebody else for money. If that's not the case in your situation, this is a situation where basically somebody has your heart or your person has or you have the, your person's heart, right? Or vice versa, right? But money is a blockage and a past person is or a past situation, some, something somebody needs to heal from is an issue, basically. All right. Let's get one more history of spirit. Show me the truth. Show me the truth. One more card, please. Thank you. Oh, somebody is missing you. Somebody is missing you and longing to be with you again. Somebody just cannot stop thinking about you. Somebody thinks about you when they wake up in the morning. This could be you too, okay? Just apply this where it fits. They think about you when they get any. I mean, it's like this person feels triggered. You know, any little thing triggers them to think about you. And that this person just wants to be with you again. Yeah. Let's see what else here is going on in this situation. And in the pre-shuffle, the energy that came out was like, some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody who was a pathological liar here. This person lied to you quite a bit. They, they hid a lot of things from you. Or this could have been you. Somebody here definitely was not honest. Someone is not being honest with you. And you know they're not being honest. Okay. Show me what else here in this connection, please. Oh, if I drop another card, a pathological liar just fell on the damn floor. <laughs> I'm going to pick it up because I, I don't even know if I can get over here. Give me If you guys could just be patient with me because I really want y'all to see this. And I don't know if I can get to it. It's like all the way. Hold on. I got it. Anyway, so this is the energy that came out in the pre-shuffle. And this just fell on the floor again. Somebody is Pinocchio, okay? <sighs> Someone here could be uh, drinking quite a bit. Mm. This is somebody here. You know what makes so much sense with gold digging here? Financial interest and financial gain. So it's almost like someone made a someone made a decision here, you guys, based on money or lack thereof. All right. This is someone here who is living a double life. And this person just lies because it feels good or it makes them look good or it just feels good to them and it boosts their ego. And they have a, a low self-esteem. Re in reality, they have a low self-esteem. Let's just keep it real. Temptation. So here's that double life energy. Yeah. Third party. Somebody, you know what? There, there could be somebody here in this connection, you guys, who tempted your person, or maybe you felt tempted to be with this other person because of somebody tempted them with money or tempted you with with them with something, and somebody had a lack of willpower to do it, and that's because this person lacked self esteem. They were they're insecure. Yeah, just this person is living in their shadow self. Okay. Period. This is definitely low vibrational behavior, unfortunately. Yeah. See, someone here is finding some form of a drug addiction too. Okay. So someone here earlier alcoholism came out. So maybe you're dealing with somebody who is um yeah, you know what? To get back to this energy, whoever this person is collected that tempted your person, they're a snake. 
this this offer was a bunch of bullshit. It got in the way of a divine connection. Anywho, um, drug drug addiction. This person either has an alcohol or drinking problem, like I said, or someone here is codependent. Okay, that could be codependent. You know what I mean? Like I said, they're low vibrational. They're living in their shadow self. Um, and they, this person, remember, pathological liar came out here. So you may not have even known your person was struggling with drug addiction or some form of codependency here or using some form of substance to not think about like how awful they feel their life is or just to feel better and deal with the day to day. That's really the energy that I'm getting here. It's like this person is just in this low vibrational energy because they're not happy. They're refusing to grow. They're living in their lowest, the low vibing self in their shadow self instead of this person doing the work that it takes to heal themselves from the inside out and deal with this stuff. This person um, would rather live in that type of energy. And so this person has some codependency and yeah, yeah. This person's also stalking you online, you guys. Okay. This person's up late at night looking you up online, going through old pictures, old old text messages, whatever. Um, watching you on TikTok, watching you on social media, whatever platform that you have. The, this person's obsessing over you for sure. And this person's so busy, concerned about what you have going on. Now, also, too, if this is a third party, that for some of y'all, a third party could be obsessively watching you. And this person is, like, not even tended to their own business. <laughs> this third party is not even minding their own damn life because they're too busy checking to see what the hell you're doing. Okay. Or, or like I said, if this is your person, person watching you, they're watching you because they're just... They're not happy with their own life. What else? Yeah, they're not happy with their own life here. Delusional. When I tell you somebody's not happy with their, their life and they're very delusional, they definitely fantasize about being with you. They definitely... <sighs> this person is just could have even told stories about you to people that were not true. Or that's this third party doing it, but mm, 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 mm. oh, this person is definitely overindulging in something too. If, like I said, this could be over them overindulging in a lot of shit. They're just selfish, you know, and greedy. It's all about either the money or the drugs or what, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is crazy. Cray, cray, crazy. Damn. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like this is not going to last, though. Somebody's going to be forced. They're gonna, there's going to be a power moment or something. Show me more here. Yeah, look. The intervention or tower moment is that this person's going to catch an STD. Wow. <sighs> drama. Somebody is about to catch drama or catch hell, or this person is catching drama or catching hell. Mm, 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 mm. Look at this. All over this behavior. Listen to this. No facts. Never has the facts. Make shit up and lies. Somebody could have lied on someone here also is what I'm getting. Somebody could have lied and said you had an STD or there might be some drama behind this too. I don't I, Listen, you know your story better than I do. Okay? Whoever this person is that's lying so much though, they definitely have a lot of insecurities. Which could be why they sleep around so damn much and need to wrap it up. They're curious about you. They want to know what's going on with you because they know you don't compare to anyone else. Nobody else compares to you. No one else has ever made them feel the way that you made them feel. Like that you're you're irreplaceable. So what happened was this person went and slept around with other people. If this is not a third party spreading lies about you, yeah. Whoever this person is that was running away from you, they're coming back. You see how this running came out in reverse. I feel like this person's coming back. 
I told you flings, even if this person tried to, thank you spirit, if this person tried to like get over you or is trying to get over you, they're sleeping with multiple people. Somebody caught an STD and I feel like somebody's gonna try to lie lie and blame it and put it on you and that's gonna create some form of drama. Ooh, people are just, people are so trifling. People are so trifling. Look at this, the grass is greener. I need time to see if there are better romantic options. I'm telling you, somebody out here is in the, is somebody for the streets. This is street behavior. This is community, community D, community P behavior. I'm just going to keep it real, okay? People play too much. I see this, I, I see things you're not ready to understand, and I have to remind myself of it. I feel like that's your energy. <laughs> Photo, getting proof and evidence. Listen, I don't know what this drama is and what it's about to be about or whatever, but like somebody is getting proof of something, okay? Mm, 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 mm. Competition. Competition, third party all written all over this. This person could also be on your social media stalking you just to see if they're if they have competition or if you're seeing other people fishing for comments this person is all looking through all your stuff look at that player player huh interesting interesting somebody could really love basketball here um or somebody played basketball too but child my gosh I don't know what y'all got going on. This is crazy. Let's see what's going on in tarot. I don't know. <sighs> show me this. Show me how this person feels about the collective. How does the collective this person feel about them? Ace of Swords. Mm, 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 mm. They know they need to tell you the truth. They they want to communicate. Somebody, this could be them having a realization too. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. How do they feel about the collective? The, look at this. See, they see you as an honest, loyal person. This is how they see you as the empress. As someone who's loving, who's nurturing, who's giving, but who's also loyal and committed. Who shows up in high vibing energy? Energy like you're not showing up in no in no low vibing energy like this person here. That's crazy. They know you want the truth from them. Also, they know they know that they know that you deserve a conversation. I feel like this person really knows that you deserve a conversation. I don't know where you are in this um, storyline, but I know what energy that you're in. Look at this, the bottom of the deck, King of Cups. This person loves you, they do, but the geez, they could be hiding that. I mean, they hiding a lot. I know that. How do they feel about the collective? Look at this page of cups. They love you. They want to apologize to you. They want to talk, or this could be them sending you a message, wanting to explain things. Look at that four of wands. They may feel like you are their twin flame here. They know they feel like you are their stability, like you made them happy you have a strong foundation you know what i'm saying like you're you're um you're just that chick or you're just that dude you know now this came out in reverse queen of wands in reverse who is this aries leo sagittarius energy i do know this person definitely feels like you are very attractive for sure but somebody here is jealous either somebody's jealous mm, they could be sorry that they put you in a certain position look at that the tower moment i really feel like some shit's about to go down with queen of wands in reverse the queen of wands in reverse is somebody who is low vibing like i said that's probably the person who gave them the std Oh, ugh. I don't know. What was that? I just saw, just saw something flip over. Yep, look at this. Two of Cups and the, the Moon. Cancer energy. This person is very, very emotional over you. Um, just real deep in their emotions. You know... This, this Queen of Wands know, in the reverse knows that too, by the way. Um, 
but this person is also hiding things from you again. But whatever it is that they're hiding is going to be revealed. Believe that, okay? It's going to be revealed. The truth is supposed to come out. I just let y'all know that. The truth is supposed to come out. Look at that. The Ace of Cups. The truth is going to come out. Ace of Cups. I mean, this is all water right here. All water. All water. Wow. Look at that. And the King of Cups is right back on the bottom of the deck. How does this person feel about the collective? This person loves you for real, but I don't know who's in this low vibe and fucked up energy because this is ridiculous. And a nine of cups. And the look, I can't listen. A wish fulfillment. Nine of cups is definitely there's a lot of emotion, a lot of drinking going on here for sure because the nine of cups is overindulgent. Let's keep it real. So I feel like this person is drinking, knocking them back, or at the bar, or there's, or they could just be home. Four wands on the bottom of the deck. They could just be home drinking themselves crazy, thinking about you, wanting to apologize to you for putting you in a certain position or whatever. It's... If this is not the case, y'all just have something so good coming towards you that you don't see yet. It's just going to be so good. It's going to be mutual love. You love this person. The two of you see eye to eye. Wow. Wow. How does the collective feel about this person? Actually, let me move to a different deck. How does the collective feel about this person? Let's see how y'all feel. Look at that. Two of Cups when I split the deck with the Page of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody is watching you. Or this could be you watching this person. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. You know that this is a destined connection. You know that it's a divine connection. How does the collective feel about this their person? Ooh, this is juicy. This is juicy. Somebody that gave somebody a STD. Somebody been lying. Somebody's a gold digger. Look at this queen of cups. More cups. You love them. Bottom of the deck is the king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. How does the collective feel about their person? I just know your person feels like they're not going to find anybody better. Gemini energy, the, the magician. This person is, you, you're you trying to manifest them back. Look at this. You know this person, the page of cups is on the bottom of the deck. I kind of feel like y'all are mirroring each other low key at this point. But the magician, you're manifesting a, you're first of all, you're turning your back on this. So you by you turning your back on the situation, because you see how the queen of cups is has their back turned to the magician, you may unbeknownst to you you may be uh manifesting this person's apology or conversation or something yeah this is future energy this person's planning an apology and you may know that i don't know the queen of cups is usually really intuitive um you love them how, do, how does the collective feel about this person please how does the collective feel about this person Ooh, you feel like this is your divine person. I keep, I cannot make this up. This reading, y'all, y'all love each other. I don't understand what the problem is here. What's wrong, y'all? What, what's wrong? Either you're manifesting a brand new connection and you're done with this situation and this is just what happened already. Definitely future energy is... A, either reconciliation or a new love and regardless of whichever one here is happening for you which is whichever one you choose is going to be mutual the two of you are going to see eye to eye it's going to be a lot of love a lot of emotion a lot of partying a lot of having fun a lot of indulging in each other this person's gonna love the hell out of you i feel like this person's gonna love or this person that new or old okay i'm just saying some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo. You're thinking about this person a lot. You're not talking to them, though. Like I said, this Queen of Cups has their back turned to this King of Cups. You don't know this is what you're manifesting by turning your back to it. Or maybe you do. Like I said, if you're the Queen showing up as the Queen of Cups, or you identify as this Queen, really, the both of y'all have y'all backs turned to this magician. So the two of you don't know that you're manifesting each other. 
ooh, seven of swords. They're going to those lies and deception. As soon as it was getting good, spirit was like, no, no, no. This person is planning. I feel like this seven of swords and this two of wands is basically somebody planning on how they can sneak away or somebody planning on how they're going to approach you. They haven't said anything yet. You know, they haven't said anything yet. It's two of wands. Getting ready to say something is like, okay, three of wands. They're about to do it. Ah, that's that king of cups is being very strategic okay ten of pentacles wow <sighs> clarify the seven of, of swords this king of cups want the ten, wants the ten of pentacles with you which is commitment long term loyalty loyalty right Two of Wands came back out clarifying the Seven of Swords. So Spirit said, I said what I said. This person is planning. Show me this Seven of Swords. I want one more card, please, Spirit. Seven of Swords. Clarify. This is getting good. It's like a soap opera. Look at that. Four of Wands came back out in a different day. I mean, we keep seeing this Four of Wands. For some of y'all, somebody may even be moving. Scorpio energy at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. There is a lot of water here, by the way. Um, well, geez, this person definitely now this Queen of Wands. Okay. Wow. Claire, Claire, tell me what this King of Cups wants, even though I feel like I know that already. But clarify the King of Cups. Six, six of Pentacles. So this person could have breadcrumbed you in the past or like I said, either way in the future, they want an equal give and take. They're trying to get on the same the same wavelength as you because this person really loves you. But I just feel like this person has a decision. They have a choice to make and they're just, you know, trying to figure some shit out. Clarify the magician. Why is the magician here? Oh, this card just fell in my lap. Listen, this person is watching you. And I feel like this person was emotionally manipulative to you because this page of swords flipped over in reverse in my lap. And that's like somebody is just like either immature, still hasn't learned a lesson yet, or this person is just like obsessively stalking you. I don't know. And it's too much of a burden to them. Um, clarify this magician, please. Ace of Swords. What's the name of this song playing? Um, you keep calling me back. What is this? Uh, um, Lucky Day. What is the name of this song? You keep calling me back. La 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 la. Um, I forget the name of the dang old song, y'all. But that's what's playing right now. You keep calling me back. This person is obsessively watching you and stalking you, and they want to have a conversation. I think this is the second time that Ace of Swords came out, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be a Gemini who, you know, is having a big realization or something. Yeah, they want to communicate. Eight of, eight, of, eight of Wands. Somebody's got something to say. What, are they, what is this Ace of Swords? What do they want to communicate about? What's this truth? What's the truth? Clarity. Ooh, that you're a wish fulfillment, but also this nine of cups want to go in reverse. Somebody been drinking quite a bit. It's queen of swords in reverse. Ew, who is this? This is a different person. Y'all, this is a different person. Queen of, queen of swords. Or this person may... <coughs> the queen of swords in reverse is somebody who just says anything. Like, they're really spiteful. And this person could be an alcoholic. Wow. Somebody could want to apologize to you for that behavior. The Page of Cups is on the bottom of the deck again. <clears throat> hmm. Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Child, this thing is crazy. I don't know what y'all got going on. I hope it makes sense. The Queen of Cups is Two of Cups, okay? This person sees you again. Two of Cups is here twice in two decks. In two decks. Look at this. 
<laughs> I'm so funny. I always like to say, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at the cat drinking the milk out of the bowl. Y'all, I don't know if y'all remember um, Kevin Hart. That's Kevin Hart. Anyway, how his daddy used to stand in the patio. But this is how this person feels about you. I mean, and this is really how you feel about them. Let's keep it real. I mean, I feel like you, the collective, you've turned your back on this person for sure, but you still love them. You know, um, look at that. You want success and you want to overcome this victory. This person really loves you. Um, you could get a lot, a lot of attention here. <clears throat> I just heard somebody's up on their high horse. Hmm. I don't know what that's about, but why is the Queen of Cups here? This person loved the hell out of you, though. Like, no, no, y'all. <laughs> either this either this is the energy of this past person, and you have the free will to make the decision whatever you want, or y'all got some good shit coming in. Period. Good, 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 good. Good's good. Wow. Oh my gosh. The Ten of Cups is here. The Ten of Pentacles is here. Somebody wants love, loyalty, stability, um, a home. They want to build something with you collective. They want to offer this to you, Page of Pentacles. This could be a younger earth sign or Pisces, the hangman. This person knows they're coming to this realization, realization they're starting to see things from a different perspective. And this different perspective or this new enlightenment that this person is having, or, you know, this is the old person that, right, if you're, if you're, res if this is resonating more so for you, the old person, this person wants to offer this to you because they play games. Look at this, five of swords, three of swords, heartbreak, pain, ace of wands, they were a player, left you out in the cold, feeling abandoned, did what they wanted to do, was in and out. Now they want to communicate with you or this person wanted to act single all the damn time. They thought they were single. I don't know. Yeah, they did. I don't. It's crazy. So let's see what else. I don't know. What else here? That's a crazy reading. Like I said, either y'all have really, really new good love coming in or man, 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 man. This new person come back around is going to be good. I'm realizing your love was holding me together. Oh, I'll make it up to you if you let me. I promise you that I'm going to be better. Yeah, I do feel like this person legitimately wants to try to be better. I do. Please forgive me. Dang. Now, I'm telling you, this is like that, that page of cups energy for real, for real. I wanted to play the field and now look where that got me. Nowhere, y'all. <laughs> I cannot make this up. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, this is, remember we saw player because this was on the bottom of the deck. I wanted to play the field and now look where that got me. That didn't get me anywhere but losing the collective. You make my heart skip a beat. I get butterflies whenever we talk. For real, this is all you give me butterflies, Michael Jackson energy. This two of cups came out like, what, two or three times. The ten of cups is here. The ten of pentacles is here. The nine of cups is here. Is here. The king of cups is here. The queen of cups is here. The ace of cups is here. The moon is here. Ooh, good grief, boy. I, this reading was good. Y'all ain't disappoint today, did you? Y'all did not disappoint today. We need to talk about everything. I told you this person is planning to have a conversation with you. And I feel like this person is ready to put it all on the line. They are ready to put it all. Look, I'm learning to open my heart. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. This is beautiful. I regret walking away. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know where you fit into this whole thing, but it's beautiful. Okay, this is beautiful. Somebody is leveling up. Somebody is doing the work or they've done the work. Either this, this is just beautiful. These, this person's intentions are pure, okay? They mean well. Um, now her is playing, um, is this comfortable? 
Wait, what is this? No, no. If I let you, if I let you, would you take me for granted? Oh, damage. You could do damage. So some of y'all might be afraid if you let this person back in that they may get, do the same damage to you like they did to you in the past. You're always in my thoughts. Yeah, this person's definitely always thinking of them. I mean, thinking of you, but I feel like you're always thinking of this person too, honestly. Don't lie, collective. The way y'all showed up, don't lie. You know this is your person and your person knows this is that very, that you are their person. Listen, I miss the mornings with you laying in my bed. Hmm. This is so beautiful. What else for the collector? Oh, okay. These flew in my lap. I love you all too much. Y'all, you guys, I'm telling you, this person loves you so flipping much is ridiculous. I've been dreaming of you even when I'm wide awake. I told you, look at this. I, then I started reading off like that and I said, look, this person thinks about you when they wake up. They think about you when they go to bed. They think about you. Every little thing reminds them of you. And Or this could be your energy too. I don't even know, but this person think about in the past. Like For some of y'all, this person was so interested in money or focus on money to the point where they couldn't see this. But now this person's looking looking back in the past and saying, oh shit, like this person sitting around thinking about how they allow money to get in the way of something that was divine. Something that, <sighs> dang. Mm, 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 mm. What else here? Ooh, all right. Those cards flew. I'm not even going away over there to get. Let me see if I can get this other one. I have one fall on the floor, but I'm not picking that up. Okay, I never meant to watch you struggle. I will go out of my way to make sure that you are safe and comfortable. I told you, I think I mentioned that to you earlier. So this person could have ran off. You could have depended on them for something or you needed them for something. It's like when you needed this person, they weren't there. Like I said, remember that Five of Pinnacles showed up? Didn't that Five of Pinnacles show up somewhere? We looked, we saw something. Hold on. Yeah. This person, like I said earlier, Five of Wands, they're thinking, but they hurt you. They're thinking about this shit. The hangman. They're seeing a new perspective on, like, I really did this to, collect, to the collect the Three of Swords. It's because I wanted to be out here, be a player, and only be focused on hoes you know, and, and, and financial gain and my money. So they abandoned you, was in and out, acting like they were single. Child, it's something that need to be healed. Temperance energy, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or um, somebody, want, this person definitely wants to bring balance back into this, especially with the Six of Pentacles being here. Your voice is my favorite sound, so this person definitely missed talking to you. Look at this. Look, look what's on the top of the deck. Come back to me. Mm. This person is trying to manifest you back, and they don't even know they're manifesting you back. I can't promise you a perfect relationship, but what I can promise you is that as long as we're, we're trying, I'm staying. Yeah. And what's playing right now is Snow Allegra. Whoa. Okay. Don't want to leave. I just want to be here by your side. You make me feel and believe that we're in paradise. I don't feel the ground. This is crazy, 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 crazy. Okay, let me see if I'm going to pull any other cards. You know what, you guys? I think I'm just going to leave it there. I love y'all. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have your notifications turned, your bell on to turn to all so you get notification on, on when I upload a new video.